Hi dear students, welcome back to the next class. Have you reversed what we learned in the last class? Yes, we have learned face value, place value, ordering numbers and comparing numbers. Can you guess which will be the today's topic? Yes, today's class we will learn about forming two digit number, odd and even numbers, ordinal numbers. Our first topic is forming two digit numbers. Children, we will see an example. Here we have two digits 9 and 4. We have to combine the digits to form a two digit number. We already learned tens and ones. We can choose any digits and place it at ones and tens to form a two digit number. In our example, we have 9 and 4. We can keep 9 at ones place. Which one we will keep at tens place? Yes, 4. Now we got a two digit number 49. Let's repeat the same example. Here we can keep 4 at ones place and 9 at tens place. We got a another two digit number 94. Forming a greatest number, we have to keep the greatest number at tens place. We will get a greater number. Forming a smallest number, we have to keep the smallest number at tens place. We will get a smaller number. Hope you understood how to form two digit number. Children, shall we move on to our next topic? Our next topic is ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers comes from the word order. It tells about the position or place of the object. All are familiar with the running race, right? Who will get the first position in the running race? Yes, the child who finishes the line at the earliest. Who will get the second prize? The child who reaches the finishing line next. Like that, we have third, fourth, fifth and so on. In this chart, there are 5 kids standing. Child A is standing at the first position. Child B is standing at the second position. Child C is standing at the third position. Child D is standing at the fourth position. And child E is standing at the fifth position. Who is standing in the fifth position? Yes, child E. Who is standing in the second position? Yes, child B. Here, the name A, B, C, D shows the position of the kid. Hope you understood ordinal numbers. Children, our next topic is odd and even numbers. What is even numbers? The numbers which make perfect pairs are called even numbers. Example, 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. So, odd number, the numbers which do not make perfect pairs are called odd numbers. Example, 1, 3, 5, 7. Children will demonstrate odd and even numbers with an example. I have few number of symbols. I don't know whether they are odd or even numbers. Let's make into pairs and check. 2, you can keep in the, inside the class. 2, now 4, again 2, 6. See, one pebble is remaining. Now we can count the pebbles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7. So, the total number of pebbles are odd numbers. 7 is an odd number. We will repeat the same experiment with the 8 pebbles. First, we can make it into pairs. 2, 4, 6, Eight. See, no more pebbles in my hand. And the pebbles make a perfect pairs. 
you can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 yes 8 is an even number children an even number is a number that can be divided into two equal groups an odd number is a number that cannot be divided into two equal groups we can identify a number odd or even by checking the last digit of a number if the last digit is 0 2 4 6 8 that number is an even number otherwise it's an odd number let's do some more example here 7 is an odd number or even number yes odd Zero is an odd or even number? Yes, even number. Here, the last digit is four. Is it an odd or even? Even number. Six. The last digit is six. Is it an odd or even? Yes, even number. Hope you understood odd and even numbers. Children, it's the time to recap. Today's class we learned forming two digit numbers, ordinal numbers, odd and even numbers. We'll meet you in the next class.